What is this? This is Mallory Designs. Mallory Designs. I saw this on his Instagram and I said, gotta, gotta sign up for it. And it was like a pre-order thing. Dylan Mallory, The Forest. Yeah. S35VN Marble Carbon Fiber, number 71. Okay. And uh, I just got it a couple of days ago, but I wanted to give him a shout out and talk about his knife, The Forest. When I saw this in his hand, on Instagram I go wow I really like that design I like that design it's slender that's for sure Wow nice drop to it but it's slender it's lightweight let's put it on the scales it is super lightweight look at the backspacer titanium pocket clip is titanium marble carbon fiber yeah, I mean, I'd say that's the only thing on this particular knife. And I asked a couple of other guys about their knives. Did they have any voids or issues? And they said no. But so I'm probably unique in that way. But I, I've, I've got a Leong Ma eraser in marble carbon fiber. And I've got voids like this in that too. And that's a $400 knife. This was far from that. Okay, this was under $200. But... Yeah, that, that's the only thing. And I thought, you know what? I might get some. And I know who I'm thinking about to put some fat carbon fiber, you know, like Arctic Storm scales on here. That would be sweet. That really would be. So let's get our knife on the scale before it shuts off, which it did. Come on, get back together. Under three ounces, technically, 84 grams. That's light for a knife that, well, get back here, Arctic Storm. Okay, my paramilitary two. Same size blade. I mean, look at that. But overall, the PM2 is slightly bigger, and I think it's fatter, too, because the PM2 is eight and a quarter inches overall. And this is under eight. It's under eight. Seven, seven, eight, somewhere in there. And not quite 20 centimeters, but three and a half inch blade, 90 millimeters. Okay. Wow. See how thin this is. 0 0.44, 11.2. Hold on. Let's get back here. Yeah, 0.44. Let's take a look at this. Okay, it's good. Uh, blade stock. Mm, 0.10 at 2.6 millimeters. And yeah, I noticed the blade stock is fairly thin, okay? Where's the where's piece of paper? Come here. Wow, 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 that's really sharp. That's really sharp. I, I figured it'd be a hell of a slicer. I guess I hadn't put a blade, the blade to any paper yet. Uh, wow, that's impressively sharp, that's for sure. Stonewash blade, and no billboarding on this, you know, nothing. But this kind of area here you can get up on, oh, it's so light, so light. Where's my balance point on this? There you go, right there. Reverse grip, that's comfortable. And you know, the overall, I mean, Dylan did the Archeo for for uh, Artisan Cutlery and he he's done a couple for them. And then, you know, this is on his own here. Uh, so I really like the Archeo, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's comfortable in the hand, but that is, that just feels so thin and feels so lightweight, just so, even with a three and a half inch, not three and a half inch cutting edge though, obviously. Probably three, right? Yeah, right at three, okay. 
But so there's a, you know, that's a decision you got to make. Uh, like he had to make, like, do I want to have a nice big area where people could choke up on it? You know, what should I do? And so this is his decision. Other people might poo-poo that and go, no, you should have brought it all the way back, gave me more cutting. I mean, you know, everybody's got a different opinion there. A big cut open area on the blade so it's really easy to finger flick. And the blade... I mean, the drop is really nice. Is it centered? Yeah. Blade player lock rock, none of that. So, yeah, uh, I was, I don't know how many months it was, but it was some months. You know, when I signed up, I think it was probably uh, about four months ago. So, that's what the weight was like. Contoured carbon fiber and check it out all the way around you've got nested liners you don't see them you know but they look like they're skeletonized we will take this apart by the way and check it out that's full carbon fiber through there pocket clip of course the screw must be coming from the inside which yes you can see that it is You know, so it's it's not an overly complex design. It's lightweight, it's slender, and it wasn't terribly expensive either. I mean, under two for what you're getting here, and it's his own brand, you know. So, yeah, I like it. And flickable, real easy that way. Can you roll it open? Easy, yeah, that's nice. Not a problem there either. Kick it open with your thumb. Either way you want to go. How's the design flow? Pretty darn good. Just a little nub there. And then here, blade to handle length. Really close. So we're good. It looks proportional. So if you like slender, lightweight, yet, you know, a full size, eight inch knife, basically, um, yeah, this would be the thing. I just like the design, you know, that was what drew me to the whole thing. Could this have been bigger? Yeah, for me, it could have been. I, I could have gone three and three quarter inch, 3.8 inch blade and you know, eight and a half overall, no problem. Um, it'd be kind of interesting if this would have been a button lock as well. You know, it could have been. And, or, I wonder if Dylan is considering doing this in G10. Could you imagine this in carb and uh, in contoured like G10? You know, with maybe a Sandvik steel? You know, for around 60 bucks, something like that. That'd be nice. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, God, I got number 10. I got number 10 up there on there. Yeah, that ain't going to work on this one. Let's have about a number 8. And, yeah, we got it. Okay. And it looks like a flat spot on the pivot. So, yeah, that's it moved a little bit. But, oh, there's your pivot surround there from the other side. Came off. Get over here. Yeah, you can see the logo moved just a little, but that, that's all it moved because of that squared off area. And what do we have here? And I think I did mention to him, you know, maybe on future efforts go to uh, number eight body screws and let me see if I can what's what's my deal here I 
There's one. I guess I'm either going to get them from this side or that side. I don't know which way they're going to come out. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's going to fall apart on me. Here it is. Here's your backspacer. Titanium. Steel liners. And uh, there's your stop pin right there. And what is that? Sometimes they're three, sometimes they're four millimeters. This is closer to three, okay. 0.11, okay. And ceramic bearings. And it's clean on the inside. And there's your surround for the front. And there's your squared off uh, pivot. And it is very, very clean, very, very light. Nested liners, like I said, skeletonized. And so, wow, this is just like very super lightweight slender. Get a little juice on there let's grab the blade let's get the other row on here drop or two on there and really that's it folks I mean because we didn't take much of the other stuff off and there it comes right through she set up ready to go got to get the surround and the pivot screw on here, which is a number eight. Let's get these plopped in here. And these body screws look the same length. Okay, and in here, okay, we got her snug down. Yeah, we got it adjusted now, just right. Oh yeah, she's centered now. Back with the forest, yeah, the forest. All right, what do you think? Uh, if you've got one of these, chime in. Uh, it's got a great drop, okay? And there's your pass-through. It's not difficult to disengage, and it drops really nicely, almost scary, actually. But you know, you've got that big unsharpened area here. So it's not gonna hit you. And and actually, the back right there kind of hits your thumb as you release it. It's pretty quick over the detent uh, ball. And you know what, the detent's just right. I mean, I wouldn't want the detent any stronger. Super lightweight blade. Yeah, I can, I can throw it out like that. But uh, if you're, you know, I don't have a flipper tab here, you know? And I don't have thumb studs, so I want it to be pretty finger flickable. And so I think they got this dialed in right. I wouldn't want it any, yeah, I wouldn't want it any heavier. It's nice. All right. Take care, my friends. Yes, The Forest by Dylan Mallory. My buddy Dylan did a good job. Looking forward to seeing what he does in the future. I want to stay tight with that so I can get in on any future models that he produces. All right. Thank you so much. 
you guys take care we do we love them knives you guys stay sharp